Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to our second virtual VBS video. Does anyone remember from the first video what our theme is? That's right. It's hope. It's important to have hope, and it's important for our hope to be in the right place. My family and I like to go for hikes outside. Does anyone else like going for long walks outdoors? Well, imagine we are going for a walk in the woods and we come across a stream. And across the stream, there is a bridge. And we take a look at the bridge and we realize that it's a very old wooden bridge. It looks fragile. It's falling apart a little bit. Now, suppose I try and cross it and as I'm crossing it, I think to myself, I hope it will hold my weight. Well, what do you think is going to happen? I take the first few steps, and the wood starts to creak, and then the slats start to break, and splash! I end up getting rather wet. My hope was misplaced. I trusted in something, and it didn't hold. In the, these lessons, in these videos, we want you to know that hope in God is well placed. We are to hope in God because he is always there for us, and he is always able to help us. Today we are going to think about the fact that we can hope in God because God is real. He really exists. Well, remember our theme verse. Our theme verse is Psalm 25, verse 5. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. We've also put together a coloring page, it looks like this, and you can get this on our Facebook page or it will be also an attachment on the email uh, that you've received the link for this video. And when you color this, picture, this coloring page in, you can send it to us and we can post it on our Facebook page so people can see uh, what you have done. Well, before we go to some singing, let's have a quick prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for this day that you have made. Help us to rejoice and be glad in it, and help us to learn a lot about you as we think about hope. Thank you for this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome to Virtual VBS, video number two. He's got you and me, brother. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Here, in his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got everybody here. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. And he's got you in his hands, too. Hi, boys and girls. I hope everybody's staying nice and cool today. Uh, the verse today is Psalm 62, verses 5 and 6. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? 
Today is day two of VBS, and I get to share with you a story about how our God is the one true God and that God is real. And because he is real and he's the true God, that gives us hope. I, we're going to talk about a story in the Bible from 1 Kings chapter 18, and it starts around verse 15. But I want you to read the whole chapter. Get your parents to help you or an older sibling, or if you're good at reading, then you read it because it is so exciting. But I get to tell you this one bit of it, and it's about a, a prophet of God whose name is Elijah and a king. His name is Ahab. King Ahab was not doing what a king should be doing. He was encouraging his people to worship a thing called an idol whose name was Baal. So it was nothing. It was just a thing. But people were worshiping it and putting all their faith in it and, and, and giving stuff to it. And Elijah said that God wants them to make a decision. If God is the one true God, worship him. If Baal is the true God, then worship him. Just make a decision. So Elijah said to Ahab, let's have a contest. The people can make their own decision. We are going to go to Mount Carmel and you call those 450 prophets of Baal and they'll make an altar, cut a cow, put it on the altar. I'll do the same and we'll call upon our gods. You guys can go first and see whose God can bring down fire, consume that altar. That's what you do on an altar is you, you set it on fire. We'll call them to set it on fire. So you guys go first, go ahead. So they, the prophets of Baal, this idol, made their altar, cut the cow, put it on there, and they started calling upon their, their god. Oh, they were dancing about and praying and hands up, and oh, they were moving around doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things. For hours, nothing happened. Not even a breeze, not even a whisper, nothing. And then Elijah said to them around noontime, hey, Maybe your God is uh, sleeping. Call a little louder. Maybe he can't hear you. Maybe he's in the bathroom and can't be disturbed. <laughs> but they kept going. And they ended up cutting themselves and bleeding all over the place to try to make this happen, but it didn't happen. And then Baal said, no. Elijah said, hey, enough, enough. It's my turn now. Nothing's happened over these hours. It's my turn. So Elijah built his altar, put his cow on, and he said, this is my God, the one true God. Show the people that you are the only God. You are real. Set this altar on fire. And as soon as he finished, like immediately, out of the heavens came this fire and it consumed what? Everything, everything. The cow, the stones. And you know what Elijah had done even before that? He built a trench around it and dumped three huge things of water on it so it'd be all wet, really hard to set on fire. But you know what? God had consumed all of that with his fire. So it wasn't, there was no contest. It, there was no saying anything else, but that was the one true God. And that's what all the people said. God is the one true God. The God of Elijah is the one true God. He is real. And I want you to know that he is real for you. He's real for me. And he can help you with all of the things that are happening in your life right now. You can have that hope. He is real. He will help you. Okay. We'll talk again. Bye. Awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God. Is an awesome God, he reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. For God is an awesome
awesome God, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven upon with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven upon with wisdom, power, and love. Awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God, He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. God. Your God is too. Hi everybody, it's the end of day two already. That went so fast. Did you enjoy the songs and the story and the verse? I want you to send back your pictures and we'll put them up on our page, okay? Let's have a little prayer together. Hands together, close our eyes. Dear God, we thank you that you are the one true God. That gives us hope that you are real. You are in our lives right now. Please, Lord, I pray that you will show each child and each person watching this video how real you are and how much you care for them. We thank you for these stories of the Bible that help us to know more about you and see that you care every moment of our lives. Please bless our family, bless our home, and bless all those who are watching this video. We pray these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And all God's people said, Amen. All right, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.